Democrats grilled Judge Neil Gorsuch Tuesday on one of his most noteworthy appeals court cases, Hobby Lobby. He sided with the arts and crafts chain owned by an evangelical Christian family, which objected to Obamacare's mandate that health plans cover contraception. The Supreme Court later upheld the ruling. You made a decision that thousands of their employees would not have protection of their religious beliefs and their religious choices when it came to family planning. Senator, uh, I take every case that comes before me very seriously. I'm delighted to have an opportunity to talk to you about that decision. Gorsuch goes on to describe at length his legal reasoning. What is it and why could it be significant if he's confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court? His concurring opinion in Hobby Lobby said that companies, like people, can have religious rights. He refers to RIFRA, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The 1993 law, introduced by then-Congressman Chuck Schumer and signed by President Bill Clinton, held that government shall not substantially burden a person's exercise of religion. What does person mean in that statute? Congress didn't define the term. Therefore, Gorsuch says, his job as a judge was to go to the Dictionary Act of 1871, which states that when interpreting statutes, the words person or whoever will include corporations and companies as well as individuals. You can't rule out the possibility that some companies can exercise religion. Some legal experts take issue with using the Dictionary Act this way, saying courts have applied the act inconsistently over the past century. Nevertheless, Gorsuch used the corporations are people construct to apply strict scrutiny to Obamacare requiring the owners of Hobby Lobby to sign something saying that they were permitting the use of devices they thought violated their religious beliefs. Democratic senators pressed Gorsuch on the implications of Hobby Lobby and corporations as people to issues like campaign finance and the possibility you would strike down then this idea that corporations shouldn't give, be giving money directly to campaigns. I don't think Hobby Lobby speaks to the question of the First Amendment at all. If, if this body wishes to say only natural persons enjoy RIFRA rights, that's fine and I, I will abide that direction. I'm not here to make policy, I'm here to follow it. In other words, Hobby Lobby was a narrow ruling. How would Gorsuch rule on cases involving, for example, companies that oppose on religious grounds having transgender bathrooms or providing services for gay weddings? Gorsuch won't address how he might rule on future cases, but offers his basic judicial approach instead. My job as a judge is to treat litigants who appear in front of me as I wished to be treated when I was a lawyer with my client, large or small. I didn't want them discriminated against because they were a large company or a small individual with an unpopular belief. And that's the kind of judge I've tried to be, Senator. And I think that's my record.